Vandiyadeva also followed quickly to get rid of Amon along the single track path that led through the dense thickets. It was difficult to walk in the darkness without bumping into the trees. At one point, when he hesitated to hit a tree, the monkey looked back and said, Why are you stopping? Have you lost your way? You are the man who can see in the dark. She said. Instead Vandiyathevan put his finger on his lips and said ush. As she said before. He said. At the same time, a sound was heard outside the wall. Sounded like human traffic. Then both of them walked again. After going some distance, Valavarayan smiled lightly. The monkey looked back and asked, What are you laughing at? She said. I don't laugh at seeing, I laugh at hearing. So. Didn't you just hear the footsteps of those who came looking for me? I laugh at their delusion. She asked with some fear, Is someone looking for you? What for? She said. Otherwise, why should I sit bumping against the wall in this blind darkness? At that moment the branches of the tree moved away in the movement of the wind and a ray of the moon fell on the face of Vandiyadeva. The girl looked at him with a bit of surprise and bewilderment. What are you looking at? He asked. You, I saw it was you. I, if not me, who else would I be? You had a big mustache last time you came. You ask a good question. What if a wall jumper like me doesn't change disguises often? Do you look younger now? When there is passion comes youth. So what got you excited? What's less exciting when you have the favor of your majesty? Don't joke. Our mistress is the youngest queen today. She will surely be the empress one day. That's what I'm saying. Is this what you say? You even say that they became empress because of your magical power. Even if you ask me to give you half the kingdom. Vandiyathevan somehow learned what he wanted to know. Then he said nothing. He walked thinking seriously. Who is he going to meet? Pavur may have been Ilay Araniya. Or maybe she was the daughter of Chinapalyavatareya who was married to Madhurandak Deva. Thinking that she is a witch, the woman takes her away. How do you behave when you go and meet that young lady whoever she is? Chest. Don't give up courage. As long as there is courage, there is victory. A strategy will not appear in time. So far we have not failed in any crisis. Are we going to fail even with a girl? They approached a large mansion. But not towards the front door of the mansion. Not even close to the back door. They approached the beautiful Lata Mandapam which extended into the garden on one side of the mansion. On getting closer, the Lata Mandapam was seen to be like a passage connecting two huge mansions. The two buildings so included were somewhat different. The mansion on the right was glowing with many lamps burning within it. Various lively tones were coming from inside. Not even a small lamp was burning in the building on the left. Its luminaries stood tall in the moonlight. But silence and darkness dwelled inside the mansion. The woman who had brought Vandiyathevan, when he approached the Lata Mandapam, signalled him to stop there. He also stood still. It was only when he stood there that he felt the fragrance of the flowers that filled the place. What a smell! What a smell! The nose is like a stick and hits the head to crack. As the Lady Lata entered the hall, her voice and another sweet female voice were heard. Tell me to come right away. I'll ask. Do you know I'm the one who's been waiting all this time? The words made him dizzy. That voice is the voice of Pavur Ila Irani. No doubt. Next moment we are going to go and stand in front of her. How are we going to deal with that situation? What will she think when she sees a man on a palanquin instead of the expected wizard? Are you surprised? Will you get angry? Maybe she will be happy. Or will she behave without showing any emotion? Mangalata, who had brought him, signaled as she stood at the door of the hall. Vandiyathevan reached where she stood and looked inside the hall. In a split second, the scene that appeared there was imprinted in his mind through his eyes. The flame of the lamp lit on the golden lamp post radiated golden light. 
Some unusual perfume must have been left in that lamp. So the smoke of the bonfire smelled like incense. A woman reclined comfortably on a couch spread with fragrant flowers of many colors. She is the Isla Irani of Pavur. She looked beautiful when seen in the palanquin during the day. At night, in the light of a golden candlestick, she looked like a beautiful goddess herself. The fragrance of the flower, the smoke of the lamp and the enchanting image of Isla Irani of Pavuver intoxicated Vandiyathevan. Come. Beware. You only drank alcohol once. You know your mind is confused. Then you vowed not to touch alcohol. Remember that now. Do not lose your knowledge in this enchantment, more powerful than the intoxication of wine. Seeing Vandiyathevan, Isla Irani Nandini of Pavur gazed in amazement as her coral petals spread slightly to reveal her pearly teeth. The fact that she was unable to speak at that time was to Vandiyathevan's advantage. Lightly he gave a laugh and said, Ma'am. Their nurse has a sudden suspicion, dash whether I'm a witch or not. How do you think she heard that? Are you? she asked. He said and laughed again. Nandini smiled. A lightning flashed in front of Vandiyadeva's eye. It dripped honey. Nandini said, she will suddenly have a suspicion like that. Vesuki. Why are you standing here like a tree? Go to your place. If you hear someone's footsteps, slam the door. Said Nandini. Here, mother. Having said that, Vesuki walked through the inner corridor of the Lata Mandapam to the Prakasa house and sat down on the faintly visible Vesapadian. Nandini lowered her voice a little and said, she suspects you are not a witch. You strange girl. Three-fourths of the people who call themselves witches are mere liars. You are the real witch. What magical spell did you come here at this time? She asked. Amini. I did not come here by magic. I came by climbing a ladder that was possible on the wall. Vandiyathevan said. That's obvious. I asked what magic tricked you on this girl. I caught a smile in the moonlight. That's all. I was going to show you the magic ring you gave me if it hadn't been fixed. You keep it safe, don't you? Could you have come here openly in broad daylight when you had that ring? Why did you sneak up this blind way? Amini. There is their brother-in-law, a petty robber, and his men are pure thieves. First they tried to steal my clothes and belongings. Then they followed me without leaving me for a moment. The separation from them became a great song. After parting, they entered the alleys and circled around the wall of their mansion. I was coming. At that time, when I saw the ladder on the wall, I thought that they had made this arrangement in memory of this poor man. I knew that was wrong. I apologize. Forgiveness doesn't have to happen. How is that, ma'am? You're not so wrong as you think. You know what I wanted to bring the wizard in for. I don't know, madam. I don't know magic, I don't know divination. You were the first thing I remembered seeing you yesterday morning. I wanted to know why you hadn't come to see me yet. That's why I sent for the wizard. Very surprising. Which one? Now that's what you said. I remember you the first time I saw you yesterday. Do you believe in the smell of pre-birth? So. They say that if two people have friendship or relationship in the previous birth, such a relationship will also occur in this birth, that's what I am saying. Until yesterday I didn't have that faith. It was only yesterday that faith was born. Although Vandiyathevan was clearly lying when he said this, in his mind he was thinking of the woman he had seen in the astrologer's house. But Nandini has no place to know about it. She thought she was talking about herself. But that's why you didn't come to see me? That someone named Alwarkati Arnambai sent me a message. Yes, madam, I wanted to see them in the first place to tell them the message he sent me. After seeing them once, all old reasons are forgotten. Where did you see Alwarkati R? What news did he send? Near Viranarayanapuram. I met Alwarkata Yarnambai. 
he tried to convince me that Vishnu was the great deity by the power of his staff. At that time, the entourage of the great Pallavatarayars came. Following him came their Palak. To see what was there or what, they pulled away the curtain of one of their golden Palaks. Only then did they know that they were Alvarkadiar wanted to send a message to them. He also sent me a message because I was staying that night at Sambhavarayar's mansion in Kadampur. But I could not see them in Kadampur. I could only meet them on the road near Tanjavur Fort. That too because their palak ran over my horse. Nandini was looking up when Vandiyadeva said this. So nothing could be discerned from her expression. When she finally heard what Vandiyathevan had said, she looked back at him and gave him a bewitching smile. Yes, the ladder I climb is a very wicked ladder. She said.